Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilas Chin. I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of pound US dollar, GBP USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex analysis playlist for the analysis of other pairs. So let's get started. So this is the 4 hour chart of pound US dollar in front of us right now. Yesterday, I clearly clearly recommended a sale in the pound us dollar chart and my view remains the same because this market is under the heavy selling pressure but this market is being dominated by sellers right now yesterday i recommended a sale at this level or i told that you should not go for buy at any cost because the thumbnail of the market says we should follow the trend and we all know it pretty well that we should follow the trend Trend is our friend, trend is our best friend, trend is my soulmate and all, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But still we fail to follow the trend of the market. Unknowingly we fail to follow the trend of the market. This market is undoubtedly under the dominance of sellers. But if you look at the forex sentiment meter here, okay, you'll find a forex sentiment meter on my website avilashhazarika.com under forex 101 section, you will find the forex sentiment meter. If we look at the forex sentiment meter then you can see that 86 percent retail traders have taken long position and only 13 percent one three only 13 percent retail traders have taken short position in this market 86 percent traders have taken long position they are in a buying position and this is the main reason why 90 percent retail traders lose money because because we think that we are following the trend but unknowingly we are standing against the trend of the market and this is the main reason why why we lose money okay and most importantly my dear friends please start using stop loss okay so let's do the analysis first <laughs> so this is the chart of pound us dollar okay right now market is still under the dominance of sellers Therefore, considering the trend of the market, we should only look for shorting opportunities. No buy call for pound US dollar. Okay, keep in mind, do not do not go for buy order. And as we all know, okay, we should always look for the area of value. Area of value means the best trading opportunity or the best trading opportunity. So in this market, okay, when a market is in downtrend. We get the best trading opportunity or the best trading opportunity at the resistance. And in this market, right now, there is a sharp fall and there is no proper resistance available here. And the only resistance here is this level 1.3745. Okay, this level is the only resistance level in front of us right now. This level was acting as support for the market, but right now, this level will be acting as a resistance for the market. So in case market starts going up from here, then there is a good possibility that market will be reversing from here and we can short the market. But right now, those stochastic RSI is going up, but we can see that, we can clearly see on the chart that market does not have the required strength. And it is typical common sense. This market is under the dominance of sellers, which means, which means that number of sellers are much higher in comparison to number of buyers. Let's assume there are 100 traders in the market and if 80 traders are in a short position then obviously 20 buyers who have taken long position they do not have the strength they do not have the energy to take the market up as a result you are seeing market struggling at this price level so first and foremost you should not buy in this level also you may be thinking the market has reached the bottom right now and i should go for buy no my dear friend this market is still under the uh, dominance of sellers okay therefore no do not go for buy order secondly if we look at the currency strength meter here okay, you can see that us dollar is the strongest okay us dollar is standing tall it is the strongest currency today and just look at the pound here pound is comparatively weak in comparison to us dollar therefore do not do not go for buying at any cost because us dollar is weak and if we go to the chart also then you can clearly see that us dollar is in a bullish run when us dollar was trading here 
I clearly told you that US dollar will be going up until and unless it reaches this level 93.40 level so right now it is trading at 93.11 and it will remain bullish until and unless it reaches this level so my dear friends US dollar will remain bullish and if US dollar is bullish then currency pairs like pound euro will be going down keep in mind okay dollar is going up which means that pound and euro will be going down therefore US dollar is bullish therefore do not do not think about buying or do not think that market will reverse market will be market has reached the bottom and market will be giving you hefty profits no my dear friend that will not happen here okay. the only good thing for the chart of pound US dollar here is that if we go to a weekly chart here let me remove the drawing so that you can see better if we remove the drawings here then you can see that though market has crossed the support here though market has crossed the crucial support here but it has somehow taken support at the 50 moving average okay. 50 moving average is trying to provide required support to the market because here last year during the September when market came down it was the 50 moving average that provided support to the market and as we all know this is a weekly chart and weekly time frame belongs to the big players the big boys therefore we can hope that 50 moving average may try to provide some support to the market and market may see some um, up move to our uh, up move but that does not mean that sellers are going away sellers will be there in the market but buyers are trying to take the price upward a little bit but still still you should not go for buying order so the only trading strategy for you right now or the only safe trading strategy is uh, it's taking time to load this as I have clearly mentioned okay, you can short the market at the resistance here okay, which was acting as a support for the market you can short the market if market starts going up and reverses from here first secondly you can also short the market if market sees some heavy selling pressure okay you just draw a line here on your charting platform trading platform okay. you just draw a line here and just wait for the market to cross this level okay. if market crosses this level with heavy amount of volume or good amount of volume then also you can short the market or if market reverses from here then also you can short the market on the other hand if market bounces from here my dear friend this is a consolidation do not think that this is a trend reversal for trend reversal we need a v pattern okay so this may be a consolidation do not buy only short the market because dollar is strong pound this week you have clearly seen it and if you want to avoid pound us dollar for a couple of days if you're a beginner then feel free to avoid pound US dollar because there are a couple of other uh, currency pairs with good amount of opportunities pound US dollar has seen heavy selling pressure for the uh, last couple of days so be very careful my dear friend so this is it hopefully I've understood if you have liked the video and found the video informative give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis thank you so much all the best take care